What's going on YouTube? I'm Colin, you're watching No Fashion, and today we're going to be talking about Burberry. But no matter how much you spend, if you don't take good care of what you have, you won't be well dressed. Burberry is a British luxury fashion brand founded by Thomas Burberry in 1856. The brand focuses on outerwear clothing, namely their flagship trench coats, and sits at a brand value estimate of $3.38 billion. Thomas was born in Brockham, a small town in the southeast of the United Kingdom, in 1835. Thomas was the apprentice to a draper's shop before opening his own outfitting business at the age of 21. Initially, Thomas's designs were inspired by the clothing worn by the average British citizen, but he began to find an interest in working with and developing new fabrics and materials for his clothing. In 1879, 23 years after opening his own shop, Thomas created a new material called gabardine, which was a tightly woven twill cloth made of British cotton. This new durable, water-resistant material quickly expanded Burberry's company as the demand for his product quickly rose. In 1891, Burberry opened its first London store in Haymarket. The revolution of the gabardine material began to expand beyond the elite class of British citizens as explorers, including the Nobel Peace Prize winner Dr. Fridtjof Nansen, who was the first explorer to wear Burberry on his trip to the Arctic Circle, as well as explorer Roald Amundsen, who was the first man to reach the South Pole. In 1900, the British military approached Thomas and requested he design a coat that would be more lightweight than the current coats being worn by the military at the time. This led Burberry to design its most iconic item, the gabardine trench coat. This coat became a staple of the British military during World War I and gradually made its way into civilian life as well. In 1917, Thomas Burberry retired and in 1926 he passed away at the age of 90. The brand established itself as a staple in British culture and history through its use of revolutionary gabardine material as well as its iconic equestrian knight logo and the Burberry check pattern which has become a mainstay of the brand in spite of emulators who have tried to capture the iconic look. As it stands now, Burberry is in its first year with its new creative director, Riccardo Tisci, formerly the creative director of Givenchy. It is currently the industry leader in textiles, apparel, and luxury goods sector of the Dow Jones Sustainability Index, and has made major ethical strides in its banning of fur in manufacturing and a ban on burning of unsold products as is common in the world of luxury products. Burberry is a brand that has remained just as relevant in current culture as it was in the beginning. The brand now relies heavily on the staples that helped build the company in its pattern and trench coats, now with an updated version of the equestrian logo. Burberry walks a line between modern and traditional design, meaning all of their offerings will remain staples in your wardrobe for years to come. And as the materials are military tough, that will likely be a long time. Hey guys, Editor Colin here. I forgot to film an outro. So if you like this video, please consider giving it a like. Uh, if you have any feedback for me on things I could be doing better here, drop it in the comment section down below. And if you wanna see more content like this, please consider subscribing. Thanks guys.